So the shooter in Buffalo believes in replacement theory, which is the idea that Jewish people are bringing immigrants of color into predominantly white countries in order to replace the native-born population for political gain. The shooter said he would kill all the non-white people one by one. Talk about being overconfident, goddamn. Starting with the black people here in America. Did this trigger happy idiot forget that it's his people that brought black people to this country from Africa centuries ago? So the Europeans who colonized America not only kidnapped the Africans to make slaves out of them, but to ensure there would be a majority liberal voting base in the future. The colonists are responsible for blacks being here. So if the Jews are behind the replacement, then that means that the colonists were Jewish and probably the founding fathers, too. No wonder the United States supports Israel. I had no idea George Washington and the gang were Hebrews. Oh, wait, I forgot. The Palestinians were Hebrews, not the Israelis who colonized Palestine. Oh, yes, I did say it. Anyway... How can white supremacists say that Jews are anti-American when the divided states of America itself was founded by Jews? And don't get me started on the KKK calling themselves Christians when the Bible clearly describes God as having African characteristics. You know, this is sort of off topic, but going by Israel's logic, all you have to do is follow a religion and you'll be a rightful inhabitant of whatever country it or originated in. Does that mean if I become a Shintoist, I get to call myself a Japanese? The scenery is gorgeous in Italy. Maybe I should become a Catholic. Then I can be like, see that Sistine Chapel over there? My people built that. But nah, Catholicism is too strict. Sometimes I wonder if even scratching an itch is considered a sin. So, when the Founding Fathers wrote the Ten Commandments, 